Your eyes are shining like the stars. I was down. Oh, I'm so happy. Until you saved me. Until you set me free. My eyes were closed. Now I see clear as day. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high. heaven i would show you outside but i don't know if people would know where i live i mean there's no windows looking out to me which is the best it's like i get all the light and the privacy as well which is incredible although there are there are um someone people are doing the roof so um i have to be careful but good morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog the winter sun is my absolute favorite thing starting on a tuesday i'm gonna put you on my coffee machine um I'm off to a and other stories appointment, which I'm very excited about. I've also just kind of received a delivery from Ted Baker and it is a navy coat. I've got a couple more pieces. I thought I'd do an unboxing review later, but for now I'm heading out the door. I've just made a coffee takeaway and I'm putting on a new trench because it is trench season now. So yeah, so let me put you somewhere where I can Fully show you my outfit in the light. Um, excuse, I'm doing like Depop stuff at the moment. If you don't follow my Depop already, then definitely go and check it out. Um, because I upload on there maybe once a month, and I put quite a lot, a lot on there. I'm quite good at being quite brutal with some things because, as you may know, I get through quite a lot. I've also just been kindly sent a new bag from Cocoon. Cocoon is an online rental platform where you can rent designer pieces, which is incredible. So if you want a really lovely bag for your holidays or an event, or you just want the opportunity to play around with different bags with your fashion, um, you can also have a membership. So instead of spending a lot of money on one bag, you get the opportunity to play with a lot of bags, which I think is a really clever idea. Um, and they've actually started a edit of Burberry pieces and I selected this one. It's really roomy, which is amazing. And I just thought with this outfit today, it looked quite cool. So yeah, the trench is Ted Baker, wearing it in a size eight and love it. Making sure that all these, um, all the buttons have like protectors on it. So I need to make sure I put, take them all off before I leave the house. I'm trying to sort of do my hair, but it's not really playing ball, but just kind of going for an undone messy look. I could put on my Celine sunglasses. The base of my outfit is just super easy. Black t-shirt, white jeans from Zara, which I wore in Paris. And then, and then I'm wearing my black Vasia trainers. What's that? Oh, it's a label. Oh, that's a cool label. Hmm. Always looking for the extraordinary. Stunning. So yeah, so this is my outfit for today. Quite a neutral outfit, but I quite like it. And it just also looks very cool with the um, accessories. So yeah, so first thing to do today is go to Und Other Stories for a press appointment to just see what's new in and um, select some goodies. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you save me, until you set me free. Now. So, I was being very indecisive if, with what I wanted to pick from And for Stories because there were just such amazing pieces. I didn't really want to talk in there because of obviously music copyrights, I was music blaring, as well as loads of people were in the changing rooms, and I just felt a little bit awkward. Um, talking to the camera but i thought i'd quickly unbox with you what i got and then i will leave like pictures and videos on the screen of me wearing them so the first one is this black corset i just thought it was a classic piece so very kindly i was gifted a voucher to go and spend in and other stories for content um which was very lovely it gives me the opportunity to go and trial out some pieces and then share it with you guys so i picked out this corset because 
I think this is just a classic, classic corset. I picked it out when I went to Paris and then I never wore it so I returned it. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, oh, I was like, I really want this corset as well. I was like, it's just a really good piece for um, if you don't know what to wear for evenings and things like that. This is stunning so it's a black classic corset i got it in a size 34 it is quite expensive but i think it is normal and other stories prices it's 120 pounds but for a piece like this i think it's just so good like i think it is definitely worth the investment um i'll do some styling maybe over the weekend because i think i'm going to wear this with some either white jeans that would look quite cute or some blue jeans but i'll leave me in the videos here um i actually tried it on with a shirt underneath and i absolutely loved that so it's really versatile so you can wear it on its own you can wear it with like layers so cardigans blazers but also as well with like a little mesh t-shirt or the shirt like i wore underneath so it's super versatile a really classic piece what i love about it as well is i hope you can see that it's got a kind of corset detailing at the front, at the back, so you can really cinch yourself in. And that really works for me because it it fits perfectly on my boobs, but around my waist it's a little bit too small. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love it. Zip on the side. It's just a classic piece to have in your wardrobe, for sure. Okay, next up was... It was the piece that I like fell in love with at the beginning. It's this beautiful cream cardigan. They have it in black as well. It was £95 and I got it in a size small. And I love it so much. But they do have it in black. And I just think these the quality of them is just so beautiful. And I'm going to wear this so much. And I just love... I wanted to go for a cream because I know we're going into spring. I think it's definitely important to have a lot of neutral knits in your wardrobe. I was going to pick up a trench coat. However... However, I think it's still a little bit too cold and as well I did kind of get sent the navy Ted Baker um, trench which was fine to wear but I still felt a little bit chilly so I was like trenches can be maybe end of the month or next month but I really wanted to pick up this cardigan because I'm gonna I know I'm gonna wear it so so much wearing it like I, I think I advocate cardigans over on this channel um, but it reminded me of I think it's kites the K-H-A-I T E that brand it literally feels and looks like that material so i think this is an incredible dupe um for a fraction of the price and again you can wear this with slip dresses jeans um i can't wait to wear this with like a little body and some shorts in the summer just a really lovely i think also as well a really lovely summer cardigan to have in your wardrobe um because it's quite a nice like density as well and it's super soft so yeah really happy I picked that up and again it comes in black and I really want to style this with a slip silk skirt I think they look really sweet and then the last thing I got was just a classic piece because I had a bit of money left over on the voucher and I just thought it was just timeless to have and it was 17 23 pounds I got it in an extra small um and yeah it was just a classic rib um, vest because I feel like it'd be handy to have maybe underneath the cardigan, blazers, and jeans. You just can't go wrong with not having a little rib tea in your wardrobe. So yeah, that's what I got and very happy with it. So thank you very much to And Other Stories for inviting me down to go and collect some pieces. I'm very happy with those. I feel like they're all kind of like timeless pieces and I can get so much wear out of them. So that's that. I do have a really exciting delivery. It's a home delivery. And I wanted to unbox it with you before I um, forget to. And it's from Pookie. And it's something that I've actually asked my parents for for Christmas. That's how sad I am. Um, but in this house, some of the areas don't have, have plugs in the right places. It's a very bizarre layout, this property. Um, in the sense of there's no freezer there's like 20 hundred spotlights in each room very bizarre so one of the things i did really want and i thought was really cute was a portable lamp by pookie and i'll leave it down below because it is very cute i think i'm gonna have to get a light bulb i think i've got some hopefully i do oh no it comes with one. Oh, that's lovely that's very lovely of them 
Um, so yeah, so I wanted a light, a pookie light for quite a while now. And if you order online, you get 5% off. So I thought I might as well. They're like £120. But I think, I always feel like it's a bit of a, with clothing and things like that, I will spend £120 easily. But when it comes to interiors, I thought, oh no, that's quite expensive. Um, but I've wanted one of these for ages and I was being indecisive of what lampshade. So I went in um, a couple of weeks ago to trial out some different lampshade fabrics. But I'm still, again, very indecisive. I've gone to be very um, adventurous, but I think I've decided that I want to return the one I've got and go a little bit more neutral. But I wanted to show you it anyway. Um, we can trial it out in different areas just to kind of give you an idea of where I intend to put it. And yeah, very exciting. So I went for I went for a green colour, which I think I just showed you there. I think I think it's this, which I thought was a really sweet and quite a classic print. Um, also, green goes with everything. However, I've seen it in beige and black, which I'll leave down below. So I'm a little bit indecisive. Oh, it's so cute. Luckily, it's literally that they've got a um. Luckily, they actually have one in, what's it called? In Fulham, there's actually a Pookie Light shop, so I can go and return it. But I wanted to just test it out, get a feel for the colours, see what I preferred. So let's do that together. So, yeah, this colour is very cute. But with the picture frames I've got, I'm not too sure. So we'll give it a go, and then if not, I will go and change it tomorrow with my friend after breakfast. But this lampshade is stunning. Stunning. I do have, what I did intend is that I've got a champagne print, which is in green. And that's what I wanted to put with it. But the picture frame is pink though. So. But one of the main places I wanted to get it done. Look at that. Let's first, let's appreciate it. Wow. Stunning. Sorry if you hear my belly rumble. How cute is that? My brows are also really dark at the moment. I don't know why. But yeah. How cute is that? <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Um, but one of the main places I wanted to do it is in the hallway. So I have my console table here. Um, and yeah, I thought it'd just be really cute to have something in the hallway. Because I feel like I don't want to put the lights on in here because it's a little bit too much. Oh, she looks so cute there. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. It looks so lovely, doesn't it? Um, but I only thing is, what to be fair, I can they're not too expensive. I think they're like £30 each. Um, I've got my she prints here, which I'm gonna hang up because I would show you the other way around, but actually it's quite a messy in there. Because I feel like I really like the largeness on it. And also as well, I can put my little LED candle on. I need to clean the wax from it. But those two together, that's this is the vibe I wanted in here. That looks so cute. I was tempted also to paint this green as well. And um, we do have a little bit of reds in here, but I feel like that doesn't actually matter too much. But my plan was to actually paint this console table green just to go along with the lamp or go black. But I think that might be a bit too harsh in here. But yeah, how cute is that? So I'll leave it down below, the actual lampshade as well. But I'm still indecisive on the colour. I think I need opinions. I'm feeling, I think because I have so many options, I find it actually harder. But I'll show you other places and I'll show you at night time as well because... What I love about it, over here, so this is where the She Prints painting was. However, I do prefer this in here. I think it's a bit more neutral. Um, it goes, I can have my like J Mason jar, ginger jar, ginger jar on show. And I feel like that works really lovely. It goes a bit more with the browns. I don't know, I'm indecisive. But also as well, if I've got friends over, I'm gonna just hide my addresses i can put it on the table like so so that's what i love about it is that it's quite fun to just like put it in places in the evening i could do like a little snack so it's like a little cinema wow very cute the world is my oyster also is here because i've got an island kind of out in the middle of the floor i don't want to plug there so that could also go there as well so it would look like that oh she's very cute so yeah so that is an option I really am happy with the lamp itself. I'm just indecisive on the colour. But I guess I can change it up 
and have a bit of fun with it. I think these colours over here are throwing me off, so maybe I need to hide those. <laughs> um, and see what it looks like when it's a little bit more neutral. But yeah, how sweet is she? Maybe I'll go tomorrow and just double check I'm happy with this lampshade. And if not, I can return it and then go for a different colour. But it is very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, and it does go with the green. It does very lovely go there. Um, so yeah, happy with that because in the evenings it's just quite nice to have a bit more mood lighting and my place is quite neutral as you can see so it's nice to have a little bit <laughs> add a little bit of color but i've got blue over there but who knows who knows but yeah i think my friend holly's gonna come around later i know my friend jess is coming tomorrow so i'll get her i'll get jess to um have a think and feel for the place and then maybe we go for a different color we shall see i feel like i need to make a cup of tea and just have like a minute of calm I had some really bad news earlier that my nan had a stroke. She's all okay, she's fine. Um, but I think my anxiety was really bad because I was in and other stories doing my press appointment and then my phone died and I was like, what do I do, where do I go? Um, and the only news I had was from my brother who is an emotional wreck <laughs> and he was like, Lisa, I'm on my way, I'm going down because my nan's in Brighton with my family. I mean, she, he was like, I'm gonna stay, don't worry, don't worry, like, it's okay, I'll be there. And I was like, okay, like, is this like a stroke, like, and she's survived, or is it a stroke and she's died? Like, it was that, like, I was a bit like, what's going on? Um, and then I was kind of like on standby because I was like, do I go home, do I not? Um, so I quickly, I did the appointment really quickly, came home, charged my phone. And my phone died, so I was like, what do I do? Um, so I was like, stay calm, everything's gonna be okay, there's nothing you can do, just do what you need to do today, and then when you, and then like just get home and then just charge your phone and see what happened. She's all okay, she's fine. And um, they're running blood tests now, and they think it's a blood clot to do with her medication she's been put on. Um, so, fingers crossed, touch wood, she's okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is, for an hour, I'm going to just sort out the house, organise my Depop things because I sold quite a lot of things on Depop um, and just kind of have a bit of no phone and things like that because my anxiety right now really hurts. <laughs> um, God, that was a lot. But anyway, yeah. Happy with the pieces that... Happy with my lamp. That is lovely. Happy that my nan's alive. That is lovely as well. Um, so yeah, so nothing really else to update you on except do my ted baker haul but the light's going so i think i will do that tomorrow and um yeah I just my brain right now is a bit fried so i think i'll love and leave you here maybe i'll cook dinner with you we'll see we'll see how the day goes but oh yeah my goodness hello guys and happy friday i'm just about to head out the door i have been running around like a hellish chicken and i've just got myself ready in a very very colorful outfit i've actually just put on my um me and m jacket with this really nice silk vest which i found from zara these like really nice zara jeans and i've just put on my me and m jupey heels with my new favorite trench coat which is from Ted Baker and Ted Ted Baker and I am obsessed with it it's such a nice fit and it is so gorgeous and flattering I absolutely am obsessed with it I don't know if I can put you somewhere else so you can maybe get a little bit more oh wow here's the light I need to have like a little um tripod but yeah this is the trench and I really love it I love the back detailing of this like extra layer here and it's in this really nice navy I got it in a eight I will leave more information down below um but yeah I just feel really smart in it and put together and I'm also pairing it with I have rented a Burberry bag from Cocoon I think I spoke to you about this actually the other day. Um, and I've been absolutely obsessed with it. And I thought the trench with the burb does well. Unfortunately, it's not a Burberry trench. But this is such a beautiful 
quality trench and I think Burberry trenches can be very expensive anyway um and I really am loving it and they do have it in the brown as well so I think I might grab that um but yeah I'm heading out the door as I'm going for lunch with Tudor and Chloe which will be a lovely and reunited team which will be so nice the Clapham girls reunite we're all spread all, the, all, all over the place now which is lovely and we're gonna go to Soho House and have some lunch which will be really nice as well a very overdue catch up. I haven't seen Chloe since, I actually think since Laurie and I broke up and it was a bit um, of a, a raw, I was a bit of a raw state around that time and I didn't really see anybody because um, it was obviously very tricky for me to keep re telling people what I went through and what happened and how it all came about. And yeah, so this is definitely overdue just a now I'm normal again and probably better than ever um to catch up and yeah just put the world to right she's been she got engaged she moved in to, with her um her fiance so it's really oh, I'm really excited to catch up and see what she's up to oh the phone's ringing that was a Zara delivery um but yeah I haven't caught up with Tula since she's been away to Mar no the Bahamas I think she went to Bahamas and also as well she's I believe got the signing for her house as well so it'll be a really big catch up of all of us moving out and moving into our new exciting places and yeah a very lovely Friday afternoon which I've been so excited for so anyway I am late as it is anyway to meet up with Tula to help her shoot an outfit I might shoot this outfit we'll s we shall see um, but yeah, I do need to head, so I will see you at lunchtime. Hello guys, so I am with Tula United. Do you know the last time they actually saw you was um, FaceTiming you after my hot yoga session? When was that? That was ages, ages ago. Ages ago. It was Friday night. Ages ago, but yeah, with Tula, we've been shooting. She's all blonde now. I know. So much to catch <laughs> up on. It's been a month and I feel like so much has happened. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, but we are in a rush. Oh, this is new. Um, because we need to shoot one more outfit for Tula. It looks very cool in the H&M jacket. Stunning. <laughs> She's got the black Katie Loxton bag as well, which is, oh. Oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I that on camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got one more outfit to shoot really quickly, and then we are heading for lunch, which we're both so excited for because I feel like I haven't eaten and I'm absolutely starving. So let's get this done and get some food. Get some food. Right, we're back home and we're having a palava. The girls have made snacks, lovely. I'm currently making the salsa verde. Um, <laughs> it's taken like it's been taken three people <laughs> to try and get and a tap and a tap mm -hmm. to try. We need a hero. We might run to the white horse <laughs> to find a man. <laughs> Is this just not working? So now we're trying the the cold. Well, that's been a minute. Should we give it a go? Yeah. Okay. I'm making salsa verde, fish. Well, at the moment it's just fish, rice, and vegetables. No, 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 no salsa verde. It will definitely come off eventually, 100%. But no, I just thought shaking it. <laughs> no, we didn't leave it for long. Maybe it's a pipe. Oh, pipe, that's strong. Is it? Oh. Wow. We're on the crisps, we're on the olives. By the way, Soho House was lovely. I don't, I'll leave a picture of the food because that was really good. Um, but obviously you can't really film or take videos in there. Um, and then Holly met up with us. <laughs> now we're eating more food. And Amelia saved the day by swapping shoes with me. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, oh, I'll leave pictures of that as yeah. well. Yeah, um, I, I would not be able to get home. I wouldn't, I don't know what I would have done. They were, I would have It got to the point where it was that bad. They were like, we won't show you. <laughs> It's a bit graphic. <laughs> it's a bit graphic. Three foot pictures. Three, three. I don't think people will bother. Well, someone will be into it. There's some strange fetishes out there, so you never know. <laughs> oh, God. Should I get a bigger cloth? Should I get a drier cloth? Mm. We're just going to leave it. Don't we need a tea towel with some grip? Okay, tea towel with grip. Like, you've got to have a fluffy one. I feel like that would oh, be like, a you know, like a microfiber. Yeah, I've got a microfiber. 
those. Mikuave. Mikuave. These are really good. They are mm. so good. Mm. 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 Okay. They're like posh. Do you remember disco, Chris? No. No one heard discos? No? Okay. <laughs> Someone. Someone watching it's your channel. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Give it a hue, give it a go. <laughs> Wait, is there is a bit of movement? Yeah. Well done, girls. <laughs> yeah, good work, good work. I want to give it a go. Guys, stick to the professionals. <laughs> Healer on the side. Oh, the the dumpling place. Yeah. If I'm gonna look, zoom in a bit. Wow. Sexy. Is it what is it? Is it just like? I think it's got like um, shrimp. <laughs> on Hello, guys. It is Sunday now. It's a lovely lovely morning i've actually just been out for a smooth roll with one of my friends um just to have a little catch up um so yeah, it was nice to see them and now i'm back i'm just like organizing the house i had um some friends around last night which was really fun and it was just really lovely to have like all my loved ones i literally i don't know what i'm wearing right now it looked cute with the cardigan um but i'm just kind of sorting out the house i feel actually quite fresh which is lovely and i just wanted to show you i'm basically we're basically going for lunch with like my uni friends and my bed's also open as well um and we are getting the gender reveal of molly's molly's baby which is so exciting like i cannot wait like i can't wait to find out and um yeah but i also got some presents together which were kindly sent by joma i'm just gonna pause the music which was kindly gifted by joma so i wanted to show you because i think it's a really sweet idea so these are the beautiful little boxes that have come in so joma's a beautiful jewelry company and i've got all my friends names on it like so how sweet does that look like imagine doing this for like a asking someone to be like your maid of honor um that would be so sweet so i've got them all this and this is my one here and each one we love this company like this friends group we really adore joma jewelry and we all we literally have a few of them sorry something just went up the wrong hole <laughs> we all have a few of them and we absolutely adore them so i kind of got to do this for me and my friends so i thought i would leave it on i wanted to vlog it as well just to say very a big thank you but so we've done some personalized bracelets friendship bracelets and i thought this was so cute so i really like this silver bracelet with the hearts and then we've got our little initials on it and i like the gold and the silver together it matches my nails um because I wear a lot of gold, um, it's quite nice to have the mixture. So yeah, really happy with those. So a massive thank you to Joe Majori for kindly gifting this over. The girls are gonna absolutely love this. So yeah, I'll pop it all down below, but how beautiful is that? And they're really high quality, they're gorgeous. So my mum and I actually went to um, a Mother's Day event with them at the Fortnum and Mason and it was, so lovely so yeah thank you so much to the lovely team at joma for doing this for me and my friends i can't wait to give it to them it's so precious i also wanted to show you um i ordered i ordered a really sweet book for molly as well i've got her she wanted some fake tan drops so i've got that for her and some polaroids because i ordered her this book zara home zara like kids zara home is incredible like such a good um place to buy kid presents toys clothes i'm so over the moon with it it's such a pretty gift and i wanted to show it to you um because i think it's so thoughtful they also do it for like like normal memories as well but i got her an album for her like journey really and it's so pretty and just really neutral and like aesthetically pleasing so how beautiful is that? And it says my first memories and it's a little linen linen book, just very rustic and it is just so pretty. So see here, so as you open it, so I'll show it to you here, look. So it says my first memories and it's in this really gorgeous fabric with like these really pretty details. And then you open it up and then you've got these stickers which come with it, which I thought was really nice to like decorate it. So it's like my first photo. 
um, my family photo, funny story, taking a bath, playing together, smiling, sleeping, a special memory. You've got those, first day, one week old, two weeks old. I just thought this was just so beautiful. And then you can write of the little story of, and then you write the name. And it's really lovely, like, um, paper. It's absolutely stunning. And, oh, I love that each, it's actually properly done with, like, um, the tissue paper in each page so it protects the pictures and I just thought that was beautiful so I got her that and then I've got her some film um so we can take some pictures today so yeah I just wanted to give that a pot like a shout out because how beautiful is that so yeah I'm like trying to not show you my washing in the background so yeah so I really I'm really excited to find out the gender I don't know if I will tell because obviously it's not my place to tell you guys um what she's having because I don't I think she's gonna keep it I see I'm not too sure if she's gonna share it to the world or not we'll find out um at lunchtime but oh honestly I can't believe one of my friends is actually having a baby it's just madness it's so exciting oh, it's only so very i think it's going to be very emotional today but yeah what i'm going to do now i've got a few hours well no an hour and a bit just to kind of edit a vlog which i want to get done before um the week so it's ready to go live on tuesday and um and yeah very exciting lovely little sunday and we're trialing out a pub near me called the arrogant house um in fulham so excited to give that a go as well. So a lovely Sunday with my besties, having a proper catch up. We haven't all been together in such a long time. So it's really lovely as well that we get to see each other. And I've got the lovely gifts and some of the boyfriends are coming, which is lovely. And yeah, we're gonna have a lovely Sunday, like a wholesome Sunday roast. Um, and I can't wait. I'm also, so yesterday I went to Delsford and Delsford and to Pookie Light and I showed you that I got this light but I am definitely going to change the light bulb shade to a black and white one. I really like this colour but for around the house I think it just doesn't match and for the style I want to go for I think black would look really cool because it will go with this um, frame behind me a lot more. So I'm going to return this tomorrow and um, pick up or reorder the black and white one which would be lovely but um honestly such beautiful little um lamps i'm also going to order some new bedside lamps and and also as well a new bed soon which will be lovely because i just <laughs> i'm struggling here um i feel like it just doesn't go with the vibe of the bed the bed i think i told you that my bed is pink kind of like a blush pink and which is fine it's lovely but because my carpet is gray and it's something i can't do about i don't want to go against it i want to kind of like complement it um otherwise it just doesn't look right i'll quickly show you i also as well hung up my picture frames which i was very proud of myself for doing on my own so as you can see i've hung up the picture frames and it looks lovely i'm so over the moon with how it's looking but as you can see it's quite a pink blushy color and as you can see, the bedside tables and the carpet are quite um, neutral colours. So it just doesn't work well. Um, it does look lovely, of course. But yeah, I want to go for the bed I've seen is in this fabric. So I actually thought that would look really lovely um, matching the pillowcases. So that's what I'm going to order. It's from Dusk and it's only 200 and something pounds. So And they do a recycling a bed recycling um service as well which is very handy so they can come and i hope i believe remove this for me um so yeah really happy about that and then i'm going to change these lampshades i really like them i do like them um i just don't think they're actually my taste anymore um and i want to get some really nice ones to which complement like the um, the pillows and the corals so I've seen in Pookie they've got some really nice quirky kind of a bit more antique lights so I'm gonna get those which I think will be really fun so yeah so I'm just going to kind of zhuzh the house a little bit more and um, I'm gonna try and edit a video as much as I can before everyone arrives and then we're gonna go for lunch so I'll probably show you my outfit and um, what we eat My eyes were closed okay. Now I 
I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me home Feels like I can fly You can take me high